What's up everybody, Tommy with Studio Sense here. Thanks for stopping by, checking out today's video. Today is a quick tip video because I know that you don't always have the most time in the world. Sometimes you wanna look up a fragrance or get someone like myself's idea on what you can wear in terms of if you like this fragrance, then here are several others that are very similar. So that's what I've got for you today. Today we're taking a look at seven fragrances that if you like Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb or Spice Bomb Extreme even, then you will love these fragrances. So I've got that and more coming coming your way, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. I hope you're having a great day so far and that you're taking some time out and watching this video. I really appreciate that. Today we're taking a look at seven fragrances that if you like Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb or again Spice Bomb Extreme, the, both are relatively similar, then you're going to really love these fragrances. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it because again, this is a quick tip video. If you don't have a lot of time, then you're going to really appreciate just kind of how quickly we roughly run through these. I do want to say, don't think that what I'm saying is they smell exactly like Spice Bomb. They really have their own kind kind of scent profile and body, but they're very similar in terms of spicy fall oriented or cooler weather oriented fragrances. And that's what I mean. I don't mean that they're exactly like Spice Bomb or Spice Bomb clones. I'm also going to tell you what's spicy about the fragrance. That way you know kind of what it's going to sort of smell like in terms of comparing it to Spice Bomb or Spice Bomb Extreme. A Spice Bomb, if you never heard of Spice Bomb by Victor and Roth, where have you been all this time? The very, very popular fragrance for men, kind of a spicy fougere tobacco oriented fragrance. So if you like anything that's tobacco related or very spicy, very seasonal fragrance, then you're going to really enjoy Spice Bomb and its flanker, Spice Bomb Extreme, which is just darker, richer, more heavy. Uh, version of Spice Bomb. There's Spice Bomb Night Vision, kind of a fresh, youthful take on the Spice Bomb DNA. Then there's Spice Bomb Fresh, and most recently, Spice Bomb Infrared, which is a hotter version. Uh, we really like Spice Bomb Infrared. Fantastic fragrance. Try a sample before you purchase a full bottle, but I think you'll really like it. The first fragrance that if you like Spice Bomb, I think you'll like this one is a fragrance by Lalique. It is Lalique White in Black fantastic fragrance, especially now that it's no longer new and the price has dropped. One of the best recently releases that's very similar to Spice Bomb and its overall scent profile. Incense, Toyu Bomb, Ambroxan, Vanilla, Elemi, there's, there's resins in here. There's cardamom, there's pink peppercorn, a lot of different notes go into making Lalique White and Black perfect cold weather fragrance. One of the most well-balanced spicy fragrances in recent history, and again, very much worth the price. Lalique White in Black. The next fragrance that if you like Spice Bomb, I think you'll love this one, is a very refined version of the Givenchy Gentleman DNA. It is Givenchy Gentleman Only Absolute. This has been called the 007 of the spicy fragrance fougere for men, simply because it, it's kind of like a black tie affair. You can wear this upscale, or you can wear this daily as a signature scent. What makes it spicy? It's got cinnamon, saffron, nutmeg, vanilla, and sandalwood, and the perfect combination. Perfect for the holidays too, but again, so refined and so well done and well blended and put together that you can wear this almost on any occasion. Givenchy's Gentleman Only Absolute. Next up in our If You Like Spice Bomb, you'll likely really enjoy these fragrances, is a fragrance by Salvatore Ferragamo that is hands down one of the best designer releases in a very long time. It is Salvatore Ferragamo's Womo Signature, part of the Womo line of fragrances. Now the original Womo is also a very nice gourmand fragrance. This goes a little bit, now I, you could still say it's gourmand, obviously, but it goes into a little bit better, spicier fougere territory in terms of a daily signature scent. I can't see myself wearing the OG Womo on the daily basis just because it's a very heavy, sweet fragrance. This has sweetness to it, and it has weight to it as well, but it's just a bit more refined. We've got pink pepper, cardamom, cinnamon, tonka bean, leather, and one of my favorite notes in men's fragrance, coffee, especially for fall weather. So you like drinking coffee, you like the smell of coffee, you really like the coffee infusion in Womo Signature. Next up in our If You Like Spice Bomb, you'll love these fragrances, is a fragrance that I feel very similarly to this fragrance as I do to Womo Signature. One of the best Bulgari releases, and really one of the best creations by Alberto Maria, is Bulgari's Man in Black. Man in Black is just traditionally a fantastic fragrance, similar to Spice Bomb. If you haven't heard of Man in Black, 
they're both very similar. Now, I'm not saying this smells like Spice Bomb because it doesn't. It does its own thing. A lot of people online compare this exactly to Spice Bomb. It's not exactly at all like Spice Bomb. Again, it does its own thing. It smells like Bulgari Man in Black. It's a very boozy, rummy, dark, rich fragrance. It's got rum, cardamom, cinnamon, tuberose, iris, leather, benzoin, tonka bean, and amber, but a particular black amber. So it's a little bit darker, ambery rich fragrance very much a fragrance you want to wear in cooler weather specifically seasonally bulgari man in black our next fragrance that if you like spice bomb you'll really enjoy is a fragrance by diesel it is diesel bad intense diesel bad intense is very much an improvement over the original diesel bad now it does continue to carry that uh, tobacco oriented fragrance it is blonde or white tobacco it also has something called caviar caviar are the tiny seeds in the pod hulls of vanilla and they're twice as expensive as, as the pod holes. In fact, in the spice trade, they're called vanilla caviar because the seeds are where you get that buttery, creamy vanilla kind of fragrance from. And that's what makes Diesel Bat Intense really enjoyable to wear and very similar to Spice Bomb. Another fragrance that is similar to Spice Bomb in terms of how it carries itself, its overall sillage trail and just its projection, its performance, is and especially for vanilla is a fragrance by mercedes-benz of course mercedes-benz club black mercedes-benz club black is a discontinued fragrance but there are plenty of them out there there's a link down below if you don't believe me click on it it'll take you right to where you can actually purchase it one of the best fragrances many reviewers have called this a youthful fragrance and while i do agree yes young people can wear it it's it's not it's ageless anyone can wear it, it doesn't matter what age you are i think what they mean by that is it's got more of a modern feel whereas what you might say in in comparison bulgari man in black is a bit more mature just because it's a bit more sedated and this is a bit more energetic and exciting but that's all that means I don't, again, I don't believe in ageism and fragrance, but Mercedes Benz Club Black is a fantastic ambroxan, vanilla, jasmine, incense, benzoin, overall just kind of a perfect blend of those and extremely smooth but very heavy. You just need a few sprays of this to last you all day long. Mercedes-Benz Club Black. All right, guys, the last fragrance that I want to recommend if you like Spice Bomb or Spice Bomb Extreme is a fragrance by Giorgio Armani in the popular Armani Code line of fragrances. It is Armani Code Absolute. Now, whether you want to use Absolute Gold or the original Absolute, I recommend this. Absolute Gold is just a little bit sweeter, but the way that this fragrance carries itself is more closely associated, I think, with Spice Bomb. Of course, that apple mandarin and orange blossom open is tremendous but even beyond that what recommends it is the nutmeg carrot seed tonka bean and vanilla infusion that is in the heart and the base of this and that's really where this fragrance lies once it dries down you got that spicy heavy it's a very substantial fragrance and what i like about it is that you know you've sprayed something on even hours later you'll smell this on you and really enjoy it giorgio armani's armani code absolute well guys i know we ran through these seven fragrances relatively quickly but i just wanted to give you some quick recommendations that if you do like spice bomb or spice bomb extreme by victor and rolf and you want something similar but you're not sure what to pick out or what to choose you've got seven options now these seven offerings are very substantial you can ask anyone who likes fragrance or just Google it on either YouTube or Google itself for reviews of these fragrances and they're all very highly rated. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, thanks so much for stopping by and checking it out. As always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with StudioSense and I'll see you tomorrow.